Dear ICT Club member, you are most welcome to this discussion about operating systems for mobile devices. The operating systems that we've been talking about were designed to run on desktop or laptop computers. Mobile devices such as phones, tablet computers, and MP3 players are very different from desktop and laptop computers, so they run operating systems that are designed specifically for mobile devices. Examples of mobile operating systems include Apple iOS. Windows Phone and Google Android. Operating systems for mobile devices generally aren't as fully featured as those made for desktop or laptop computers, and they aren't able to run all of the same software. However, you can still do a lot of things with them, such as watching movies, browsing the internet, managing your calendar, playing games, and more. Mobile devices are the hottest electronics items on the market today. From handheld gadgets to business productivity tools, these products have found favor with consumers hungry for new functions and features that allow them to talk, email, take photos and videos, and pinpoint their geographic location. As design engineers plan new devices, one of the key starting decisions can seem routine which operating system to select. The choice of an operating system affects not only design considerations but also the likelihood of third-party application creation and can impact the product's overall cost in terms of software investment and also the ability to shop around for the best-priced offerings from processor and other silicon vendors. The extended family of mobile devices has grown in just a few years from products performing a single function into ones showcasing many functions. New methods of connecting to the internet and other devices are fueling increased use of video and GPS features, which is also driving a migration from numerous proprietary systems to a more limited number of major operating systems. Requirements for all of these devices are low cost, low power usage and ease of use. As power management capabilities continue to improve, using a new chip will often deliver more features and reduce power consumption. Ease of use necessitates a rich graphical interface, and the devices must be reliable, with stable software and service availability. They must also offer a wide range of connectivity features, the applications designed for these devices also have common needs. Applications must support the primary device functions and must also have easy convergence to other functions. Third-party developers require a flexible ecosystem for developing technology and exchanging ideas and information. A mobile operating system is an operating system for mobile phones tablets, smartwatches, two-in-one PCs, smart speakers, or other mobile devices. While computers such as typical laptops are mobile, the operating systems used on them are generally not considered mobile ones, as they were originally designed for desktop computers that historically did not have or need specific mobile features. This line distinguishing mobile and other forms has become blurred in recent years. This is due to the fact that newer devices have become smaller and more mobile unlike hardware of the past. Key notabilities blurring this line are the introduction of tablet computers and lightweight laptops. Mobile operating systems combine features of a desktop computer operating system with other features useful for mobile or handheld use, and usually including a wireless inbuilt modem and SIM tray for telephony and data connection. In Q1 2018, over 383 million smartphones were sold, highest ever recorded, with 86.2% running Android and 12.9% running iOS. Nonetheless, although not as many as 2018, 
1.56 billion, 2021 still had soaring sales, 1.43 billion to be exact with 83.32% being Android. Android alone is more popular than the popular desktop operating system Microsoft Windows, and in general smartphone use, even without tablets, outnumbers desktop use. Mobile devices with mobile communications abilities, for example smartphones, contain two mobile operating systems, the main user-facing software platform, is supplemented by a second low-level proprietary real-time operating system, which operates the radio and other hardware. Research has shown that these low-level systems may contain a range of security vulnerabilities, permitting malicious base stations to gain high levels of control over the mobile device. Mobile operating systems have majority use since 2017, measured by web use, with even only the smartphones running them, excluding tablets, having majority use, more use than any other kind of device. Thus traditional desktop OS is now a minority use kind of OS, see usage share of operating systems. However, variations occur in popularity by regions, while desktop minority also applies on some days in countries such as United States and United Kingdom.